Hello, and it's another Walking Dead video, so welcome back. So today's going to be a little different. We're going to do a deep dive video on the Reapers. And the whole purpose of this video is I want to collect all the information that we know about the Reapers currently and just put it into one video. So if you ever want to find out the Reapers, this would be the video for you. So before we get into it, though, if you want more Walking Dead content, make sure to subscribe here because we have tons, okay, almost a 100 videos, and they just come out all the time. Now I've finished with that plug, plug, plug. Let's get right on to it. So first of all, Let's do about the origins. So what are the origins of the Reapers? And episode 4, which has most of the information we currently got, because it was basically an expedition dump, we found out the Reapers are actually ex-Marines, okay? Most of the Reapers, well not all of them, because they sometimes accept outsiders, as you find out, they're mostly ex-Marines that met in Afghanistan. They're, pro they're probably from the same platoon or squadron, whatever you call them. They're all basically bonded together by being servicemen slash women in Afghanistan. Then, once they came back from Afghanistan, there was no jobs around, so what could they do? With only knowing how to kill, they would obviously turn to being guns of hires and mercenaries before the fall happened. And once that happened, we find out that the Proto-Reapers hid in a church while it happened, and everything was burning around them. And when the church burned, the Reapers got out of there, but they realised, or Pope realised more like, none of them was burned. They all had no scratch on them, not even a single scuff on any of his men. And this is where their kind of religious thing came into the fold, okay? Pope realised, maybe they're the chosen one, or he thought they're the chosen one, and they're born through the fire that was from the church, and they are the righteous selection of people, kind of. And this is where we get their religious aspect of their kind of cult. They survived a fire together with no one being hurt. And they're like, okay, it's like baptism. And from there on out, they believed everyone else was kind of not worthy. Because they survived this, but, they, but everyone else hasn't. So that's why we got this kind of isolationist kind of cult vibe from them. So that is the origin of the Reapers, more or less. And what else do we know about them? Well, we know that they have a very... They take the Bible very seriously and they read it in such a weird way where courage is all that matters and family is all that matters. Like, if you turn your back on your family, you die. If you cannot charge into battle, you die. Like, the most important things to the Reapers, they're like two core things, is courage and family and you cannot break either or else you die. So with the Reapers kind of having a family bond and being isolationists, there's not many of them, there's only about 15 Reapers. This would be the smallest villain group that the Alexandria people have faced ever on The Walking Dead. However, they are probably still one of the most deadly just because of how close they're bonded together and how they've kind of been indoctrinated by Pope to be all about courage and to not fear death. They will run in to a fight they know they will lose just so they can kill some people. They don't care if they're going to die. We've seen episode 17. They blow themselves up just for their people because they care about their own people that much. They will die for them. What we also know about the Reapers is that they do, on exceptions, very rare exceptions, accept people into their family. And they kind of do a ritual to do it. So if you want to join the Reapers, you would have to kind of do a baptism by fire like the initial Reapers did at the fall. You kind of have to recreate it. There would light a room that you're in on fire and you would have to try and escape and see what happens if you get any burns on you whatsoever. Or if you try and leave the fire without trying to save the person or persons you're with first, you've shown the leader of the Reapers Pope, you are not worthy to be a Reaper. You do not have the values that they want. You're not like them. And you would obviously, therefore, probably just die and they would kill you right there and then. The Reapers also wear masks, as you might have noticed, and they actually have a reason why they wear masks. The Reapers are all about making you fear them. It's the reason why, once you die, they use your body to mark their territory. They burn your body. They hang you in places so survivors will find it and be scared. The whole purpose of the Reapers is to make other people fear them. And they wear masks because masks obscure who you are. And if you don't know who that person is that's coming after you, you'll be more scared of them than if they weren't wearing a mask. 
the the use of a mask is to make him seem less human. If you don't see a face, it's scarier than seeing a face. And I'm pretty sure that is all the knowledge that we currently have about the Reapers. What do you think? Have I missed something out? Please tell me. Is there something that should be here? Please tell me. I'd like to know. What do you think about the Reapers? I'd like you to know. Do you think this was a good video or a bad video? And I'll talk to you guys later.